after the Iowa loss and other tackles about the shooting troubles, uh, how much has changed since then? And has anything gone differently for you guys like to make that change and to improve, or is it just kind of averages? No, no, we've been uh, sticking to, our, to what we've been doing since that game, before that game, and uh, after, you know, nothing's changed as far as our work ethic. You know, uh, you can turn the cameras around, you see a couple guys getting some work in right now. Um, it's been that way all year. Um, you know, you have your ups and downs. Um, you know, I was talking to Monte yesterday on the bus. Uh, you go back a week and a half ago, Baylor game, he didn't shoot it so great. And I mean, the world is ready to kill him. And, uh, you know, he comes out uh, yesterday and, and wills us to a, a huge road win. And, you know, it, nothing changed with his work ethic, with any of our work ethic. Uh, you know, we're staying consistent and staying true to what we know. How tough is turnovers, Matt? Turnovers, turnovers high risk. What's the key to that in your pressure? Um, you know, having our different lineups um, and, and how diverse we are as far as having DB at the four or five, putting bad at the four, myself sometimes. Um, we can do things like blitz ball screens or trap here and there and, uh, you know, get in different places because we're just, we're quicker than, I mean, the average four guy if I'm there. You know, um, it, it's, it's real obvious and we're just using that to our strengths, um, our speed and our quickness and uh, coach uh, Chrome and, and the coaching staff is putting us in great positions to be great defensively and it's been working in our favor. How tough is Matt? Oh, he's a, he's, a, he's a monster, man. Um, like, uh, you know, we said a couple weeks ago, we don't think he's missed a practice since, uh, I know since I've been here with him, uh, you know, since Monte and him came in together, I've never seen him miss a practice. And for him to have to miss a couple practices because of his ankle, you know, it's a serious situation. And then coming out uh, yesterday and playing how he played, taking the right steps as far as resting and just, you know, maintaining his confidence. And, and again, 18, 19 points was huge for us. Um, you know, he's, he's a soldier, and uh, you know that's why we rely on him as one of our seniors. And, you know, to lead when we need him to lead, and he definitely did that yesterday. What's he like in practice when he's not practicing? What's he doing? Uh, I mean, he's on the on the bike like Lance Armstrong, man. He's breaking a crazy sweat. You know, pushing himself to to crazy limits. You know, everybody on the court. You know, at some points looking over there, seeing how hard he's going, man. And uh, it, it just goes to show how bad he wants to be out uh, on the court. He's so locked in. It's not like he's just on the sideline BSing or in there, you know, what not watching practice, he's totally focused and locked in. How much does that open up the offense, especially with the ways they've been creating too that that dynamic? How much does it have? Well Monte can shoot the ball at a high clip and uh, you know it, it was only a matter of time for to see it and uh, there's gonna be more games like yesterday for him first and foremost. But you know when Monte's scoring at that type of rate it opens things for everybody. Uh, you know, you, you look at transition, you have me and Matt running on left and right. That doesn't happen too often. Uh, you know, when we play great defense like we did, and you know, guys like us uh, are able to push the break, uh, it opens up doors for everybody. Especially having Monty at the head of the snake, man. He could pull up at that mid-range spot like he did a couple times yesterday. Knocking down threes, had he not taken that uh, little three at the halftime, he would have been four for four. Um, it, it opens up windows for everybody um, when he's playing like that. Do you, do you have a new secret weapon?